Okay guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to select between the different idle air fuel mixtures uh, depending on what your car wants. Uh, we have no way of knowing. It's just like on a carburetor when you do a lean drop to get your uh, idle mixture right. Uh, this is just you're going to do it with a keypad and find out which one gives you the best idle, which one will idle with the lowest idle air control percentage. Uh, that's obviously going to be your best idle. So all you do from your home screen is you go to file go to global configs and right there you're going to see the three different idle mixture settings you can have it idle at 12 and a half to one have it idle at 13 and a half to one have it idle at 14 and a half to one and so all you do is just select which one you want upload it to the ecu you say okay that's going to send it all right there and then you just turn the ignition off for four seconds for it to take effect so you go back to home you basically uh you know, we're not hooked up, we're just gonna go key off. Power's off, you wait four seconds. And uh, once that's done, you just power it back up. And now you're set to go again. It loads it back up. And you are completely done. Uh, that is how you change from one idle mixture to the next. If you got into the system, and let's say you wanted to go in and start uh, playing with things. You wanna just change some, some basics. You wanna change where your closed loop, where your fuel learn, you know, you want to turn off the fuel learn, say if you have a bad O2 sensor, you want to kick that guy off. Uh, you can get, you know, turn your closed loop on and off also. You can go into all sorts of stuff. You can go into your idle, set your idle speed if you want. But that will, if you could do that, that's going to turn, uh, get rid of the entire idle curve that we have. So you probably don't want to mess with the idle, but that's up to you. But you've got all sorts of stuff uh, that you can do. You can go advanced tuning, you can get all your closed loop, your advanced fuel, you know, start enrichment, acceleration enrichment, temperature enrichment. You can just go in and just start changing all sorts of things percentage wise. So you can tell it like, you know, 20 degrees, it's gonna give you 20% more fuel, 60, 15 percent more fuel it's gonna do all that you can play with that and actually tweak this yourself if you'd like and if you find you've got a tune if you've dialed in something that works better um, you know I won't be offended it's your car you know dial it into what works best for you if you want to play with it if you play with it and you mess something up just go back to file global config and go back to the one and you just have to relearn you know you'll fire it up and it'll just relearn like it did but say you got it running and it's doing good and things are great and you don't want to lose it at that point, hit download from ECU, and that'll add another tune for what you just did. And so now, no matter what you do, you can always go back to exactly what you had. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. You can, you can actually start going crazy on this thing. As long as you save your latest tune, you can always go back to it, or you can try multiple different things. Always go back or change. But we supply a fuel map that gives you uh, different air fuel mixtures at idle just to find out which one works for you and to give you an idea of what that looks like if I go in here to fuel and I look at the target tables this is the 14 to 1 or 14 and a half to 1 we have a, I, that's where your idle is right down here uh, it moves on up into there it is set up you know as a two bar map so you know if somehow you did pressurize it you're gonna have air fuels taken care of there but we have a nice gradual map there it gives you a nice leaner cruise area you go into full throttle and it's going to give you where you want it there but so there's the 14 and a half to one if i go into here and open so this is basically what your handheld is doing we go to let's go to the other end of it 12 and a half to one that then loads this target table that it's going to try to hit based on manifold pressure on that column and your rpm on that column so now we're at 12 and a half to one in your idle area and it's going to go up you know keep you safe everything where you want there, uh, leaner in the cruise area, that kind of thing. So that's literally what you're doing on the handheld when you select each of these. And if you make any changes, then you basically got everything that you can see on your laptop in that, and it's all working. You don't need the laptop at all. We do it because it's fast, it's easy for us uh, to do a better gradual fuel map, things like that. Uh, Cause you can tell, I'll just show you for example, uh, if I go, let's just say we go simple table 
and if we wanted 12 and a half to one at idle, now we want to go, let's say 15 at idle, 16 cruise. That kind of changes things pretty gradual, but if you were to do the wizard and start over, like let's see, do this. I'll make sure I do not save that. But uh, you can see the, the holly tables are pretty basic. So if we do this, we go to simple. And if we said the holly, we wanted 14 at idle, 14 and a half at cruise. And we like, you know, here at 84 KPA, we make great power at 12.8. That's the basic tables that the startup wizard is going to give you if you were to start over without our tune in it besides all the other changes of ramp downs on the idle valve things like that that we've tweaked if you you lose that really gradual smooth target table and that's that's no good you know i mean it's it's just blocky it's choppy and that's why we like uh what we've added into it let's see here let's open up our other one again let's say 13 and a half i am not going to save that pile of junk there we go. Then that takes us right back to what we've done, a nice gradual table that brings things in pretty nicely. So uh, do what you want. You can save it, you can play with it. Your hands aren't tied, you still have options. And uh, you can have a good time with this system. Thanks, bye.